Hello. So today I am going to be doing. It's 9 a.m. Forgive me. Today I am going to be doing the genre book tag. I was tagged to do this by Julie Autumn Book, and the tag was originally created by Harriet Rosie. I think I will link both of them down below. And basically, there are seven questions about genres not specific genres, just genres in general, and I'm going to attempt to answer them as best I can. But please remember, at the time of filming, it is 9am, so you're going to be lucky to get a word from me. So the first question is your favourite genres, and my favourite genres, everyone knows, I talk about it way too much. I love thrillers, I love magical realism, I love mystery, and really I'm starting to expand what I read, so I'm really starting to enjoy a lot more now, but sticking to my main ones. I love a thriller and I love a magical realism, mainly. And then I don't mind a mystery after that. So, my least favourite genres is next, and I think everyone knows this one as well. My least favourite genres, romance. And what are my least favourite genres? How do, how do I not know this? Romance. Don't really like high and epic fantasy. Not really for me. And I think I'm also going to include, and it's not really fair of me because I don't think I've read that much, but historical fiction, but very specific historical fiction. Like, I don't... I don't really know. It's confusing to say. I don't... I'm not really a fan of reading books that are set, like, way in the past because... It's not really my kind of thing. Like I read The Tattooist of Auschwitz this year. That's not really my thing. It was set during World War Two in the concentration camps. And I'm not really interested in that kind of setting. Um, I'm not really interested in any kind of setting, to be honest with you, when it comes to historical fiction books. I much prefer kind of like a contemporary feel to a lot of books. But there is a book out that I know is classed as historical fiction. And I really want to read it, and I think I'll love it. And that is The Deep, which is a kind of Titanic, but haunted. And I really love anything to do with the Titanic. So I don't know whether it's because of the Titanic that I really want to read the book. But it is classed as an historical fiction book, so it's really hard to know. But yeah, I'm going to class historical fiction as some of my least favourites, because there aren't many books that I've read that are historical fiction that I actually like. So question three is a genre you want to try. I do want to try, I mean, I'm trying quite a lot of genres. I do want to keep trying classics because the classics for a reason, they're obviously really good books and I just don't feel as though I'm getting into them as much. And I think that's largely due to the time it was written and the writing style. And I just keep saying to myself, just keep pushing on and keep reading it and eventually you'll love the books because you've become so used to how it's written and that's the way I'm trying to do it. So I am trying to read more classic fiction and hopefully I can really start to enjoy them a lot more. I do want to try and get into more like dystopian fiction because stuff like that really fascinates me and I'm not really sure why but I just kind of like it because it's not out of the realm of possibility. And it does talk about a potential future that could happen. And I like reading novels like that. Um, so the next one is a genre you don't want to try. And obviously I've tried so many genres now. It's hard to say one that I've not tried and I don't want to. Um, but I just, I'm, I'm, I've given up on romance. Of course I'm still going to read some romance books because that's just how life is. Eventually you do. But I'm not actively going to try and read more romance anymore, I don't think. Because... Unless it changes it up a bit, which I know some books have, have done that, and I'm quite glad. I don't really fancy it, but if it changes it up a bit, then you never know where it goes. But at the minute, I just, I think, I've tried it, it's not really my kind of thing. Question five is a genre you're not sure about. <sighs> Jesus, okay. Um, classics, again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I don't like them period, or whether I don't like them because I'm not used to them and I'm getting used to them. I've read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens years ago and I, I really enjoyed that story. So it is, it's kind of proven there's some classics I'm happy with, but I read Wuthering Heights and I could not deal with it. So 
I'm kind of I'm very 50 50 I'm not sure and I just want to keep trying to see whether I can get better at them or whether they're not for me and then also I'm really not sure about sci-fi because I've read some books with a sci-fi element and I really really enjoyed them and I thought it was really interesting but there are also other books that I've read that were sci-fi related and I just I just couldn't get into them like a lot of the sci-fi elements that were spoken were a bit too much for me. So question six, is a genre blend that you love? <sighs> I don't really know. I, lo I, I have to admit, I do love a thriller with elements of comedy. I've always loved that because I love a good thriller where it's everything so tense and action-packed. But I love it even more when it's so tense but you can still have a laugh. Because it, it's very relatable for me. Whenever I'm in a really tense moment or I'm stressing out, I mean, obviously not to the extent of people in thrillers being murdered, but when I'm, whenever I am in a tense, stressed out, really big moment, I do use comedy to make myself feel better during those moments. And seeing characters have a bit of a, com a comedic moment during those stressful, tense times, it's very relatable and it kind of makes me feel as though I'm a part of that book because I'm like, ah, yes, I will get on with you quite well. Um, so I do love a kind of like a thriller comedy element. Um, as I've said, I want to get more into like dystopian fiction and I'm kind of liking a dystopian, dystopian thriller or dystopian horror. Like, if I've, I've not really read much of Stephen King, as you know, but if I could do some sort of like dystopian book with a horror element of like Stephen King books that would be really good if Stephen King has done a book like that please let me know because I would like to try that also it just kind of makes me think after I've been saying it something like a zombie apocalypse thing and people trying to survive so I love that kind of thing I love a dystopian kind of like survivor group I love things like that and I also love it when they start getting picked off one by one um so yeah, that's quite good. So finally, a genre-defying book. Now, I got really confused as to what the hell that meant. Like in my head, a genre-defying book, it means a genre that is labeled as one thing, but it's actually really not that. And then I looked online just to double check and it said like, this means a mix of genres. I'm like, surely that's not what it means. Like a book with loads of genres in it. Like surely that is not what genre-defying means. So. I got very confused, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it what I said, which is a book that is labelled as one specific genre, and it's just really not that. And there are a few, actually. There are actually a few. There are The Host, which I've read, which it was labelled as a sci-fi, and I can see the sci-fi elements because of the alien thing, but I don't think it was really a sci-fi. I think it was more of a dystopian. It was labelled as a romance as well, which it was. But it was a sci-fi romance, and I don't really think the sci-fi was there. Like, it was there in the start, but it was very much a survivalist book, a dystopian, the world has ended, we now have to survive book. So it was very much more dystopian, and I really enjoyed it. So I would class the host as one of them, for sure. I would also actually class The Outsider as a genre-defying book, because that is just labelled as a thriller through and through. And it's not a thriller. Like, it's a thriller at the start, and then things change. And it is then labelled as, in my opinion, a horror. Because there's definitely a lot of horror elements in it. But I googled this because I had to, I had to double check because I read it for my book club. I was the host of book club. And I had to have a list of what this genre was. And my entire book club said the same thing. Nowhere online when you look for Stephen King the outsider genre it says thriller thriller mystery police procedural or something like that all of them no horror mention whatsoever but it was definitely a horror we all agreed it was a horror book so that is it those are the seven questions and my very confusing answers I just realized I have to tag people. Oh my God, who am I meant to tag? 
Okay, I don't know who has or who has not been tagged already. So naturally I'm gonna do an open tag because I do that. I like people to feel as though I tag them. If they want to do the book tag, I'm officially tagging you. But I am gonna tag a couple of specific people just for the hell of it. So I'm gonna tag Mel from a book feed named Mel. I'm also going to tag Kira. I'm also going to tag Keris from Library of Keris. I'm also going to tag Jade from Paperback to Hardback and I feel like I can't not because I made it my personal mission to do so I'm going to tag Brooke from Brooke's books <laughs> she will actually murder me I make sure to tag Brooke if you've watched any of my other tags I will have explained this before but I make sure to tag Brooke in every sort of tag that I do just because it stresses her out that she has so many tags to do and she has loads of videos to film so I like adding to that stress because that is what good friends do. So that is it from me. Thank you all for watching. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you are subscribed. If you are subscribed, you are awesome. So that is officially it from me. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and then during this time intermittently throughout the week. So until next time, I will see you later.